So insulin acts as the signal, basically, telling the fat cell when it's time to eat and when it's time to share. What if I told you that everything you've been taught about weight loss is wrong? That counting calories, starving yourself, and grinding through brutal workouts might actually be sabotaging your results? You cannot get fat unless insulin is elevated because one of the more common eating disorders among young people with type 1 diabetes is a condition called diabulimia, which is this terrible, tragic scenario where the person feels such pressure to be lean and they have learned that that little syringe of insulin is the absolute gatekeeper of the fat cell. So they will deliberately underdose their insulin in order to stay as thin as they want. Dr. They ben Bickman, one of the world's leading metabolic researchers, has discovered something that will revolutionize how you think about fat loss forever. And it has nothing to do with willpower. Introduction, zero from fine to 130. I'm about to share Dr. Bickman's secret insulin trick that can flip your body into fat burning mode starting tomorrow morning. But first, let me blow your mind with something that happens in his lab every single day. Right now, as we speak, Dr. Bickman's students at BYU are growing fat cells in Petri dishes. These cells are literally swimming in a sea of calories, everything they could ever need to grow bigger. But here's the shocking part. They stay tiny, microscopic, until one single hormone is added to the mix. The moment insulin enters that Petri dish, those fat cells explode in size. Six hours later, massive lipid droplets. 12 hours, even bigger. This isn't theory. This is hard science happening in real time. And if you're struggling with stubborn weight that won't budge no matter what you try, your body is running this exact same experiment every single day. The question is, are you unknowingly flooding your system with the one hormone that locks fat away forever? Main content section one, the insulin revelation, 134 Hans Ha. Here's what Dr. Bickman discovered that changes everything. Insulin is the master switch for fat storage. Not calories, not exercise, not genetics, insulin. Listen to this carefully. It is biologically impossible for a fat cell to grow unless insulin is elevated impossible. You could eat 10,000 calories a day, but if insulin stays low, those fat cells cannot and will not expand. The proof? Dr. Bickman points to a tragic but telling condition called diabulimia. Young people with type 1 diabetes deliberately underdose their insulin to stay thin. They can eat massive amounts of food, as much as they want, and remain skinny because without adequate insulin, their fat cells literally cannot store energy. Now, I'm not recommending this. It's extremely dangerous and can be fatal. But it proves beyond any doubt that insulin, not calories, is the gatekeeper of your fat cells. This means every time you've blamed yourself for lack of willpower, every time you've felt like a failure because the weight wouldn't come off, it wasn't your fault. You were fighting the wrong battle you are trying to win a hormonal war with a caloric strategy. Main content section two, the morning sabotage, four to 7.30. But here's where it gets really interesting and why most diets fail before you even finish your first cup of coffee. Dr. Bickman has identified what I call the morning sabotage effect. Your body has a built-in mechanism called the dawn effect. Every single night, about 4 a.m., your cortisol levels start climbing. This is natural. It's supposed to happen. Your body is preparing to wake up by releasing stored glucose into your bloodstream. But here's the problem. This morning, cortisol surge makes you temporarily insulin resistant. Your body is primed for fat storage right when you wake up. This means that healthy breakfast you've been eating, that granola, those whole grain cereals, that fruit smoothie, they're hitting your system at the worst possible time. It's like trying to deposit money into a bank vault that's already overflowing. Your body can't process those carbs efficiently, so guess where they go? Straight to your fat cells. This is why people who practice intermittent fasting by skipping dinner often see minimal results. They're avoiding food during their body's natural fat-burning window and eating during the danger zone. Dr. Bickman's solution is elegantly simple. Work with your biology, not against it. That surge of cortisol in the morning? It's giving you natural energy, 
Your brain is sharp. Your body is alert. This is when you should be most active, not reaching for the cereal box. Main content section three, the secret insulin trick, 7.30, 11 o'clock. So what's Dr. Bickman's secret insulin trick? It's so simple you might dismiss it, but the science behind it is absolutely bulletproof. Change your breakfast tomorrow. That's it. That's the trick. But not just any change. Dr. Bickman says breakfast has become nothing more than dessert in disguise. Pancakes, cereals, pastries, bagels. It's all just sugar and starch designed to spike your insulin right when your body is most vulnerable. Instead of rushing to the kitchen the moment you wake up, Dr. Bickman wants you to embrace those first few hours. Your body is running on stored energy. Your mind is clear. Your natural energy is peaking. Use it. Go for a walk. Plan your day. Tackle your most important tasks. Let your body exhaust its glucose stores naturally. When you finally do eat, make it count. And here's something that shocked me. Even coffee can sabotage your results. Dr. Bickman's research shows that caffeine amplifies insulin response, especially when combined with carbs. That innocent cup of coffee with your morning toast? It's creating an insulin storm in your system. In one study, when people consumed caffeine with carbohydrates, their insulin response was dramatically higher than carbs alone. Your pancreas had to work overtime to clear the glucose. This is why Dr. Bickman recommends waiting on that morning coffee until your cortisol naturally settles. Main content section four, the stress insulin connection, 11 OS 1330. But there's another piece to this puzzle that most people completely ignore, sleep and stress. Dr. Bickman discovered that when you're sleep deprived, your morning cortisol can be two to three times higher than normal. Your body interprets lack of sleep as stress. Stress drives cortisol up. High cortisol drives insulin up. High insulin drives cravings up. It's a vicious cycle that keeps you trapped. Have you ever noticed that after a terrible night's sleep, you crave junk food all day? That's not weakness, that's biology. Cortisol literally crosses into your brain and activates proteins that stimulate appetite, particularly for carbohydrates. The good news? When you understand this system, you can work with it instead of against it. Better sleep equals lower morning cortisol equals better insulin sensitivity equals easier fat loss. This isn't about perfection. It's about progress. Every morning you implement Dr. Bickman's insulin trick you're training your body to become a more efficient fat-burning machine. The Transformation Promise, 1330-1430. Imagine waking up tomorrow, and instead of immediately spiking your insulin, you give your body what it actually needs. Picture yourself four weeks from now, looking in the mirror and seeing real changes, not because you starved yourself or spent hours in the gym, but because you finally started working with your hormones instead of against them. This isn't just about losing weight. This is about reclaiming your metabolic health, about having steady energy throughout the day, about breaking free from food cravings that have controlled you for years. I know some of you are thinking this sounds too simple, but remember, the most powerful truths often are simple. Dr. Bickman has spent decades studying metabolism, and he's telling us that small changes in timing can create massive changes in results. Your next breakfast is your next opportunity to implement this. Will you choose the dessert disguised as breakfast that spikes your insulin and locks away fat? Or will you choose to work with your body's natural rhythms and finally start seeing the results you deserve? Call to Action, Volume 30, 1500. If this video opened your eyes to the real science behind weight loss, smash that like button right now. Your support helps us bring more life-changing content like this to people who desperately need it. In the comments below, tell me, what's one change you're going to make to your morning routine starting tomorrow? Are you going to delay that first meal? Skip the sugary breakfast? Wait on the coffee? I read every comment and I'm genuinely excited to see your transformation begin. And if you're serious about mastering your metabolism and finally achieving the body you want, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're just getting started with the cutting edge science that the diet industry doesn't want you to know. Coming up next, I'm sharing Dr. Jason Fung's fat burning protocol that resets your hormones in just 24 hours. 
This builds perfectly on what we've learned today, so don't miss it. Click that video now, and let's continue your transformation journey together. Remember, you're not broken. You're not lazy. You just needed the right information. Now you have it. Tomorrow morning, everything changes. I'll see you in the next video.